Thanks for tuning into this podcast. This is this is podcast number four, and uh, I appreciate everybody writing in and, and sending me notes on on a bunch of great topics. And I I've got a great list going, and uh, I'll probably do a few podcasts in the future where we take on a couple of different subjects or a couple of different questions. But um, we'll we'll certainly get uh, we'll get through the list. Uh, today, what I'm going to talk about the subject for today. Um, I was going to address this a little bit later, but because it's a little bit early in the season, uh, and actually we got the, the Sepang MotoGP test happening over the next three days, I thought that this would be um, a really good podcast to jump into, uh, and, and people could take a look at it as they, as they watch some of those things, and also really get ready for their seasons that are coming up. And today's podcast, what we're going to talk about is uh, the slowest point of the corner. And um, what that simply what that simply is is um, the place where the bike needs to be slowed and pointed so you can accelerate for a longer period of time. And I'll I'll, I'll really get into that. And I, I think that this is something that's that's really misunderstood, or or at least it, or not understood at all. And and realizing that this if there was if there was a silver bullet to our sport well you know there's two or three things that that of course matter and, and it all jumps in with that order of the sport but the slowest point is really what our whole sport is about so <clears throat> let's get right into it so the slowest point of the corner um, wh- why do we need a slowest point of the corner we need a slowest point of the corner so we can understand that there's a place. And I, I don't care what bike it is. I don't care. I don't care what it is. There's a place where the bike needs to be slowed and slowed and pointed, so you can accelerate for a longer period of time. The fastest way ra- around the racetrack is the rider that's going to that rider is going to be at wide open throttle the longest. He's going to be carrying the most feet per second the longest. That's what's going to give him his mo- her, his most overall speed, and that's where the lap time is going to come from. So to make that happen, there is a place, there is a point, every single corner, where the bike has to be slowed and pointed so you can do that. It's the rider that respects that the most. It's the rider that is more disciplined doing it that's going to have the better lap time. Why? Because he'll be at wide open throttle sooner. I, I, you know, it's funny, even on some of the smaller bikes, you look at the Moto3 bikes or even the KTM uh, Cup bikes, I, even, riding, even riding XR100s with, uh, with, with friends, I would, kill to be on the, I would kill to be a wide open throttle one foot before the guy in front of me. I'd kill for that. So that's what it's all about. So realizing that, that why do we need it? We need it because we, we, we have to have a place where the bike is slowed and pointed so we can be a wide open throttle earlier and we can travel more feet per second for a longer period of time and that's where our overall speed comes from and that's where our lap time comes from. So let's define the slowest part of the corner. <clears throat> slowest point of the corner. The slowest point of the corner is the end of our deceleration zone. So it's the end of our deceleration zone. It's the end of our direction change and it's the beginning of our acceleration zone. So done correctly, and we'll get into the different corners and we'll get into all that in just a second. Done correctly, if you've let off the brake and you're just picking the throttle up, theoretically the bike should be pointed where you want it to go and then you should be able to pick up the throttle in one linear mash- fashion and not have to give it up. Absolutely, there's different radiuses that are going to play into it, and we'll talk about that as well. <clears throat> so, the slowest point. End of your deceleration zone, end of your direction change, and the beginning of our acceleration zone. And <clears throat> absolutely, it works differently for different radius corners. So, the longer the radius corner the longer the slowest point's going to be. So think about a 90 degree corner. 90 degree corner, it, 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 should, it should have essentially a very, very short slowest point as you release the brake and you go back to the throttle, right? Because it's a 90 degree corner. The longer the radius corner, the longer the slowest point's going to be. But the idea is you want to be able to minimize that. There's tracks and I can give you know a bunch of different tracks um, and, and give some examples with that. And, and we'll get into some of the report cards as well, where one of the report cards for that is how much neutral throttle do I have, and I'll explain that. So, yes, there are different, there, the, the slowest point does vary 
for each radius of the corner, but the idea is we want to have it as short as possible. That way it shows that we've used the brakes and the throttle as efficiently as possible. So, slowest point <clears throat> for different corners. Yeah, so the slowest point, think about this. We have to look at the corner and look and see what it offers, and we wanna take advantage of what that corner offers. And I know we've talked about some of this in some of the other podcasts with exit and entry corners. So, if, if we have an exit corner, in other words, the acceleration zone is longer than the deceleration zone, We've talked about a report card for that, which is we want to be able to pick the throttle up as we go past that apex on an exit corner. Well, then the slowest point is going to be before the apex. So people get this a little bit confused. Oh, the slowest point's at the apex. No, no. The slowest point on an exit corner is before the apex, right? So we want to have the bike slowed and pointed and have our trajectory set, have that exit direction, so we can start to pick up the throttle as we go past the apex and never have to give it up. That's how we know we have that correct. So, slowest point for an exit corner is early. It's early, it's before the apex. Now, we've got entry corners. An entry corner, because we're gonna take advantage of that deceleration zone, the slowest point will either be to, will be at the apex or past the apex. Why? Because it's an entry corner. We want, to, we want to maximize that deceleration zone. So the slowest point is very, very late. Slowest point is after the apex or at the apex on an entry corner. And that's part of taking a look at and seeing what that corner has to offer. So, yes, the slowest point is different for different corners. And that's why we take advantage of those and we, and we need to figure out what that corner has to offer. So another question that we get is the slowest point uh, different for different bikes. And it varies, but not by very much. It's still the same idea. There's an exit corner for a Moto3 bike is the same as an exit corner for a Moto GP bike. Exit corner for a, a, a Graves R1 is the same as an exit corner for a KTM 390. It's still the same. Yes, it might come a little bit earlier because the KTM bike, the KTM bike has less horsepower, right? So, so we can get on the throttle a little bit sooner. But it's still the same idea. An exit corner is an exit corner, an entry corner is an entry corner. So there's still the slowest point is still, they're very, very close to each other. I, I can almost guarantee where I'm gonna let off the brake for both those different kinds of bikes, the Graves R1 and the KTM bike, is, is, is actually fairly close. It's not exact, but it's fairly close. So slowest point for different bikes, yes, it will vary a little bit, but not very much. <clears throat> it's still the same principle. It's just, it's the, again, same technique, just a little bit of a degree of application with that. So we need some report cards for that. So how do you know you're doing it right? And those report cards really are, where am I letting off the brake? How much neutral throttle do I have? And then once you get your track map out and you can start to identify it, you go, oh, wait a minute. Am I, am I, uh, am I letting, am I, is the bike slowed and pointed on an exit corner? Am I, am I driving it past the apex? Then you can take a look at that. On an entry corner, you can go, wait a minute, am I letting off the brake at, at or past the apex? And then become, then the real report card comes of how much neutral throttle do you have. So if, if you're running a lot of neutral throttle, say in a 90 degree corner, that means your slowest point is very, very, it's a long slowest point, it's a very long slow point of the corner. So how do we fix that? We fix that with like, using our eyes, using the brakes lighter and longer at the end of your braking, thinking about where am I letting off the brake? And then once you start to figure out how much neutral throttle you have, then you can do that, that's how you can make those adjustments. So uh, the report cards are how much neutral throttle do you have. Um, that, that really is the overall factor in, in where your slowest point is. If you have a lot of neutral throttle, then your slowest point is very, very long. Yes, I know it's, it's, it's radius dependent, but even on a long radius corner, I'm going to try to shorten that up as much as possible. And, and there's some corners you can't, you can't help it because the radius is so long. So look, look at how much neutral throttle you have. And then once you, once you determine whether that's okay or not, then you can start saying, okay, well, where am I letting off the brake? And once you determine where you're letting off the brake, you can go, oh my gosh, I'm letting off the brake too early because that's not taking advantage of what that corner is. 
then you can make some adjustments with that, whether it's using <clears throat> the brakes lighter and longer at that point, or maybe it's more, maybe your, your slowest point um, is past the apex or whatever it is, then you can make those adjustments. But got to give yourself some report cards for that. Another point that I want to make um, on the slowest point is in regards to lean angle. So where should we have maximum lean angle? Well, the idea is that we would have maximum lean angle at the slowest point of the corner. Why? Because it's the slowest point of the corner, right? So the idea is wherever that slowest point is, we would incrementally add lean angle to it. And then once we're at the slowest point of the corner, we then we incrementally take away lean angle from it. So that's that's a really good gauge. For instance, where should your, you know, as you're, as you're getting into this, where should your knee touch at the slowest point? Why? Because that's where maximum that's where your maximum lean angle is. And yes, yeah, some corners maximum lean angle can last a very, very long time. But as you're getting into this and you're working up to it and your knee starts to touch, we want to see it touch at the slowest point first, and then we can start to make some adjustments for that for um, for that after that. So <clears throat> the slowest point really is a big deal, and I know it's it's kind of a lot of information here. So we'll 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 recap just a little bit, just so everybody kind of gets an idea uh, around that. Because I know it's a ton of information. So slowest point of the corner. Every corner has a place where the where the bike has to be slowed and pointed so you can accelerate for a longer period of time. I, I, don't, I, don't, care what, I don't care what bike you're on, I, I, I don't care. And yes, combination corners, the, you know, the slowest point of some corners, and we can use a, a great example of this is uh, here in Northern California, we have Thunder Hill. We have turns 11, 12, and 13. The slowest point of 12 and 13 is turn 11, right? Because you, what you do at 11 determines your speed through 12 and 13. It, there's still a slow point. So again, determining that as well. So first thing is, let's, let's make sure we understand what the slowest point is and why it's important. Josh Hayes talked a lot about that. Josh Hayes came over to the Yamaha schools and Josh Hayes pulls up after we watched him do this incredibly bitching uh, demo and he pulls up and he says to everybody, uh, we're, we're at this 180 degree corner in Las Vegas. And Josh Hayes pulls up and, and he says, I bet my slowest speed in this corner is slower than every single person here in this, in this class. It, that, but the idea is, remember, he got to the slowest point and he got away from the slowest point in less time. That is what our sport is about, right? Getting the bike in slowed and pointed it, it, in less time. And again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the bike is. Each bike is going to have to decelerate and accelerate. So it's getting to and from that in the least amount of time. So let's remember that the slowest point for different corners. <clears throat> yeah, so remember that we've got entry and exit corners. Make sure you're taking advantage of the slowest point for those. Slowest point on some of those larger radius corners can last a long time. Start looking and giving yourself some report cards for that and, and realizing how much neutral throttle do I have? Where am I letting off the brake? If, if you change your riding, if you just completely change your riding along the whole lines of where's my slowest point and getting to and from it, it'll, it'll completely change how you're looking at the sport. It'll completely, completely change how you're adding lean angle and how you're taking away lean angle from it. Um, really a fantastic way to do it. And it's, it is an enormous part of, of how I teach riding and it's an enormous part of my riding when I ride, um, looking for my slowest point. And, and how I deal with it. Where is it? How, you know, how quick? How quick am I there? How quick do I get there? How quick do I get away from it? So slowest point of the corner. It, it, uh, uh, it, it really is what our sport is all about. And um, I hope you take a look at this and, and watch some riding and, and watch and see how these guys are, are doing it.